Hey everybody, Zach here. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to talk about Cardano and how it can reshape and reimagine an entire continent. Yes, we're going to talk about how Cardano plans to change the continent of Africa forever and for the better. So if it's your first time dropping in on this channel, welcome in. If you've been here before, welcome back. And uh, the entire market right now, slightly down, a little bit of a minor pullback Cardano. Uh, number five right now in coin market cap still sitting at $42 billion in market cap. And uh, I think Cardano ADA, ADA is in store for a big run up still this year as smart contracts continue to roll out. And we're going to talk about some of these partnerships and their plans that they have for Africa, as well as take a look at the, some of the charts, some of the recent things people are saying about Cardano. Now, real quick, I uh, just want to point you in this direction. There is a video that I created about Cardano not too long ago. And uh, if you head over here to my site, you'll see right here, 10,000 Cardano, 1 million later. Uh, go check out this video. This, is, uh, this was well received by a lot of people. And basically, this is my plan on how much Cardano I think you should have. Uh, personally, this is my goal. So I'm not telling you what to do, but this is what I'm trying to do, uh, and I tell you why in this video. So go check out this one. I think you'll enjoy it. Now, real quick, I want to plug our Discord, our private community. We've got our Patreon group going, but here is a kind of a glimpse inside the Discord here. And you can see here so many different channels we've got going on, people uh, in here all the time. We're talking about Polygon and VeChain and Crowcoin. We've got all different kind of stuff here, as you can see on the left-hand side. If you want to join up with us and become a private community member, uh, you can hear that uh, popping off in the background. I'm going to have to bounce in there and answer some questions and, and add, to, uh, add to the discussion here. But if you want to join in, feel free to come over to that link down below in the description. Check out our supporter level and insider level. Let me know if you have any questions about that. This is a growing private community, and uh, we're having a ton of fun with it. I just sent all the insiders the five crypto to watch for this week. I do that every uh, Monday. You're also going to get buy and sell trade alerts, group portfolio access, which I'll be uploading and adding to that uh, later this week. Uh, all that and more over here on the Patreon. Come and check us out. All right, so let's bounce into ADA and Cardano. So history of ADA. I want to highlight a couple things here. Uh, this was a big event. Back on July 4th, Grayscale gives Cardano a boost. Digital asset management firm Grayscale now um, making about 4% of their entire uh, Grayscale trust. It's their third highest allocation, 4.36%. Bitcoin has 67.4% and Ether holds 25.39%. This was big for Cardano because Grayscale does not just add any asset you know, willy-nilly. Uh, they're adding assets that they truly believe in for the long term. And what the Grayscale Trust is, is it's an opportunity for investors to get a piece of the big cryptocurrencies without directly uh, putting money into those assets. So really, Grayscale Trust, it comes down to if you want to get into Bitcoin and a little bit less risky uh, play, and you know, if you don't want to just get into it by itself, you can get into the Grayscale Trust. Well, now you can get into Cardano. You're going to when you invest in the Grayscale Trust, which uh, very, very cool. And it says here, uh, Vice President of Finance at Grayscale, we are excited to welcome Cardano to our digital large cap funds portfolio as we work to ensure that our diversified fund can safely hold assets that collectively comprise 70% of the entire digital asset market. Digital currencies represent a unique opportunity for investors to diversify their portfolios. And at Grayscale, we're proud to provide our investors with access to the leading digital currency. So they name this one as a digital leading currency. And that was a big step for Cardano. You can see the current price right now at $1.31. And we're going to get into Africa here and the big plans here in just a sec. But just want to kind of hit on, you know, some of the big things I'm watching right now for Cardano one is if this pulls back, if this pullback continues and we get down to a dollar twenty cents or below, that's where I'll be looking to add on to my position. Okay, so we take a look at the daily candlesticks. We can see the daily sticks were still looking good. Nice little uh, V shape recovery here for Cardano. And uh, we'll have to see kind of what happens in this market. It's slightly down right now, uh, less than a half percent, but we're seeing a nice little pullback, or, or I'm sorry, pullback forward 
uh, pull upwards. <laughs> and we'll take a look at the ETH chart here. And very similar, right? Look at that chart. There's Ethereum. This is, these are daily candlesticks. And there's Cardano. Very similar, right? Uh, so we're seeing that uh, ADA is following ETH quite closely. Uh, and speaking of ETH, it's doing really, really well right now. Uh, so, all right, let's bounce into the, uh, let, let's focus in more on the Africa Cardano connection. Uh, big story will allow users to, uh, Cardano will allow users to run smart contracts once the hard fork occurs. This news just came out, and uh, this is going to be big as well. And a uh, quick thing, a uh, quick uh, comment here from Hoskinson. We're on schedule. Things are moving along, chugging away. There are kind of two parallel tracks going on at the same time for the launch of Alonzo. Track number one is the hard fork combinator event, strictly about getting Alonzo capabilities to the node. The other track is about binding infrastructure around that node that allows you to run both off-chain and on-chain code and build dApps. So smart contracts are right around the corner, and this is going to bode well for the future of Cardano. And part of that future, a lot of that future, has to do with what they're doing with the continent of Africa. A look inside Cardano's big blockchain plans for Africa and solving problems with emerging tech. That is what Cardano's first mission is. They're talking about real-world problems and solving those with blockchain technology. So if we scroll down here, we did hear about blockchain for education in Ethiopia, where they're essentially keeping uh, students' data and records on the blockchain to kind of track them better. This is something that uh, could be uh, life-altering for all the students that are going to school in Africa. And uh, again, this is the second largest continent in the world, over a billion people in the continent uh, on the continent of Africa. So let's scroll down here. There's some interesting tidbits here. Plans for the future. This is where I want to focus. Much of Hoskinson's vision for the African continent lies in his belief in the continent's acceptance of new technologies. He considers the demand is greatest in developing countries, making them the best nations for these kind of innovations. So if we say, where will the greatest demand for the type of technology we're building over the next 10 to 20 to 30 years, it's going to start in places like the continent of Africa. And I love his logic here because they're going to be so accepting to better their processes in all facets, right? Everything is on the table, he says. New voting systems, new property systems, new payment systems, new ways of identifying people, new ways of trading security, he says. How exactly all these projects pan out is still to be seen. However, Cardano is making a big push that is exciting for a continent that is often overlooked. So we've heard about the big story in Ethiopia. How about Rwanda? Uh, we, and they're partnering with the Cardano Foundation to launch crypto charity platform. Uh, this news came out pretty recently earlier this month. And uh, you're just starting to see Cardano continuing to add different layers uh, to these connections that they're going to have with Africa. And I think you're going to see more and more of these still in 2021. And I think Hoskinson is right here. I think these type of developing countries, they are searching for answers, right? And the blockchain technology could help out in so many ways. They've also talked about, they meaning the Cardano team, getting into the supply chain area. I know that's a VeChain's kind of area right now which they really don't have a lot of competition, speaking of VeChain. But I think Cardano could get into that area, into the supply chain area, especially if they're focusing in, and they already are, on developing countries within Africa. So this is uh, super interesting stuff. Let me know your thoughts down below on a couple things. Cardano's future and their future, just their future in general from a macro perspective, and their future on the continent of Africa. I want to hear your thoughts, where you think this is going. I think this is super exciting for Cardano. And I can't wait to see where they go. One last thing, go ahead and check out that 10,000 Cardano video. You can just put in 10,000 Cardano could make future millionaires. It'll pop up. It'll be one of these first uh, few you'll see. I think uh, you'll get some value out of that one too. If you got some value out of this one, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, check out that Patreon link down below. We'd love to have you over in the private community. And I'll see you in the next video.